On the first floor of the Metreon Shopping Center in San Francisco is a new kiosk getting a lot of attention. It's great. Oh, it's fantastic. I did it the other day. Yeah, it's very cool. It's inevitable, isn't it? Well, I spend a lot of time waiting in line at cafes. So, Henry Hu invented a way to quickly get coffee. He says the quality is the same or better than the cafes you are used to. They use fresh, locally produced beans, fresh organic milk, and because it's automated, he said no mistakes. It's able to basically make those recipes correctly and consistently every time. You can order the basics, espresso, cappuccino, latte. You can add shots of flavor. You order off the touch screen on site or you can order ahead of time with an app and your cup will be there waiting for you when you arrive. Looks pretty good. Dash is currently studying AI or artificial intelligence. He heard about this and had to see it in person. You know, you don't have to pay it a wage it's, and it's going to be perfect all the time. So These specialty coffee drinks are about a dollar or two cheaper than your average cafe. It was fantastic. The uh, verb tasted like I was in Santa Cruz. It was very good. Not everyone liked it. Some people were turned off. <laughs> kind of hokey. A passerby, Patrick, helped me out with an impromptu taste test. In his left hand, a regular brewed Folgers coffee prepared by a human. In his right hand, a vanilla latte created by a robot. Nice, yeah, smooth. Not too dark, not too light. This was better than the Folgers? Um, yeah, oh yeah. Patrick not only liked it, he gave this warning. The Starbucks baristas uh, should be uh, careful. I tried to find out if baristas were worried. I went to two Pete's and one Starbucks and talked to baristas and showed them video uh, of the robot coffee machine. Uh, now, no one could go on camera because of needing corporate permission for that. Uh, but they told me that, you know, in general, they're just not concerned about this, that they have loyal customers, always have lawn lines. One guy said they are so busy, he would be happy to have the robots take away some of his workload. Meg points out human baristas have an advantage over the robots. I think it's great, but I think it should have a nice face. Yeah, a face. And maybe throw a bow tie on the bot. Add some personality. We at your tech report, Gabe Slate, Cron4 News.